text from uh, my wife, Christy. She's heading to work. She says, traffic is just crazy. And, you know, the fact of the matter is a lot of people aren't used to no. the, the traffic out there, the school buses and things like that. So we want to remind you about the rules of driving through school zones. You know, that flashing 15 mile per hour light. You need to be aware that with the start and end times in school zones, you're going to have to slow on down. Yeah, which means it's going to take you longer than you probably thought to get to work today, and probably for the rest of the week at least. News for Jack's reporter Jennifer Reddy is joining us now live with our crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson to break down what you need to know as you drive through a school zone in particular. Good morning, Jen. Good morning. Those flashing lights started here just about 15 to 20 minutes ago as students and parents started arriving here for the first day of school. And we've seen a lot more activity than you've been seeing over the last few months when kids were out of school. A lot more cars on the road, a lot more buses. And we are also seeing a lot of kids walking to and from school or riding their bikes or their scooters. So right now it is really important as you get ready to head into that first day of school, keep safety in mind. I am joined right now by Diamond Safety Experts. morning what have you been seeing with people as they go through the school zone here you want the good news first or the bad news first? let's go with the good news well the good news is that uh, a lot of people are slowing down um, they're breaking down um, less than what's required the speed limit uh, in this this school zone is 20 miles per hour I've gotten them as low as 11 miles an hour so I don't know if it's because of they, they saw the gun or because they're adhering to the uh, the actual school zone. What I did see that, that concerned me was uh, unrestrained children. I don't know if the children are so excited that they're taking the seat belts off early or whatever, but parents need, need to remember to check and double check to make sure that their children are secure either in a car seat or in a seat belt if they're old enough to wear a seat belt. And what is the penalty for people who are either speeding through a school zone like this or if their child is unrestrained? Speeding through a school zone carries a hefty fine, over $200. So you might want to pay attention to what's going on. It depends on the degree of, of the speed uh, that you're going through. And, and, and then there's a hundred and some odd dollar fine for uh, an unrestrained child as well. So they're very serious about uh, parents or guardians being responsible for their children. Um, that's why there's a hefty fine going through the school zone and there's a, that's why there's a hefty fine if your child is unrestrained. With that being said, what is your message to drivers as we kick off this school year? Remember, this is the first day of school. Traffic is going to change. It's going to be heavier. Lights are flashing. Children are walking. I've seen them on scooters. I've seen them on bicycles. Got to be extra, extra careful. The summer for the children being home and at camps, it's over. They're out and about now. Great, Ken, thank you so much for joining us. And we will continue to be here throughout the morning as school kicks off in just about 30 minutes. For now, reporting live, Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, the local station.